What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to extrude profiles along paths inside of Blender. So you can use this to create things like wood base by extruding profiles or by revolving things around circles in order to create different shapes as well. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I get asked about this a lot and I thought I'd go ahead and make a video about it. This is basically kind of like the way that the follow me tool in SketchUp works in the sense that it extrudes an object along a path, but we have to approach it a little bit differently in Blender. So I thought I'd show you a way to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to start start by using curves. And so curves allow you to do some different things. And one of the things they allow you to do is they allow you to use a bevel in order to create an object that goes along a path. So it says bevel. Um, for me, it's almost more of an extrusion of a profile. But let's start. We've got a Bezier curve right here. And so let's take a look at that. And all I did was I added that by doing a shift A curve Bezier. And it's just a simple curve right here. Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a profile. So in this case, I'm going to do a shift A and I'm going to add a circle. So if I move the circle over here, we're going to scale it down a little bit. Then I'm going to make sure to apply the rotation and scale in here just so we don't get any weird results. And so what this is going to allow us to do is this is going to allow us to select this curve and then select an object and extrude it along this path. But you're going to notice right now, if I click on this, nothing happens. And so the reason for that is this only works if the other object that you're uh, working with is also a curve. So you need two curves in order to do this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to select our circle like this, go up to object, and we want to make sure we have converted this to a curve from mesh. So we're just going to take this mesh, which is a circle, and we're going to convert it to a curve. Well, now you can see how the type of object that's up here has changed from a mesh to a curve. So now what we can do is we can use this Bezier curve and then under geometry. So we're going to click on the curve or the object data properties right here. And then under geometry, we want to go down and look for the option for bevel. But what we want to do is we want to select that object by clicking here and then clicking on our object. So you can see how what that does is that takes your circle and it basically um, extrudes it along this path. And the cool thing about this is this is actually live, right? So this is still a curve object in here. See how I have it selected? Well, now if I tab in here and select these different points, you can see I can move these around. And this is going to basically, no matter how I rotate them, it's going to take this object and it's going to extrude it along this curve. So you can use this to really cre create these kind of cool profiles along paths, um, just like this. And so let's say, for example, because one use for this that people use a lot is creating like wood base and other things like that, right? You want to like extrude this along the path of a room or something like that. And so let's do that by tabbing back into object mode. So all we're going to do is we're going to do a shift A. We'll just start by adding a plane. And so we'll move the plane over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our plane as our profile. And so before we do that, let's add some details to this plane. So let's tab into edit mode and we'll just extrude this this way. We'll take this, whoops, we'll extrude this this way. And then what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll delete out these edges. All right, and there's no face in here right now. It doesn't really matter because what we want to do is we want to use this object for a path. Right, so what we want to do is we want to take this profile that I've drawn over here. So I've just taken a flat plane. I've created a profile from this. We want to extrude it along this path. But notice how right now these are both the wrong type of objects, right? So what that means is that means that neither one of these is a curve. And so we're just going to select this object, go up to object, convert to curve from measure text. So what that's going to do is that's going to get rid of the face that's in here and it's going to convert this object to a curve. But we still can't do this because we also need to do the same thing with this object over here. So we're just going to take this, select it, convert this to a curve as well. So now what you have is you have a curve over here that's going to act as your path. You have a curve over here that's going to act as your profile. So now we can take this and we can either click in here. We could also just click on this list and find objects that way. But I'm going to go ahead and use a little eyedropper. And I'm just going to set the bevel to be this object right here. 
So you can see how this gives us kind of a weird result, right? And the reason this is giving us a weird result is because of the way that this is positioned inside of object mode. So if you make a change, or the way this is positioned inside of edit mode. So if you make a change to this in object mode, so let's say you rotate this like 90 degrees or something like that, Notice how nothing really changes. So the reason nothing really changed is because the only way that these changes are going to be reflected is if we make a change inside of object or edit mode instead of object mode. So remember, this is linked to this plane right here or this curve right here. So what we want to do is we want to tab into edit mode. So we want to rotate this along the Z axis. You may have to play around with this to really get the result that you're looking for. Um, so I had to guess a little bit on the axes where this worked, but I'm just going to rotate this on the Z axis. We'll notice how this is changing inside of my model, right? So if you look at this, you could rotate this 90 degrees like this and hit the enter key and notice how now you've got the profile of this object in here. And so notice how this is facing the wrong direction. Well, what you could do is you could rotate this. So you could take this object, rotate it. hundred and eighty degrees on the Y axis like this. So if you look at this, what you have now is you basically, and we'll tab into, and we'll turn our wireframe on so you can see it a little bit better. But what you have now is you now have this piece of base that's extruded along this path. But we have a weird issue right now, right? So remember, our curve that we had in here is 100% straight, right? But you're getting these kind of like weird lumps right here. That's because we have extra vertices in here. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the vertices. So I'm just going to do a shift click and select both of these and then I'll just dissolve them. So I'll just tap X and then go down to dissolve the vertices. Well now this curve only has these points in here and you don't get those extra weird points along this path. So you can use this in order to quickly create um, things like extruded base or other things like that inside of your models. All right, so what we've done up to this point is we've had a curve, then we've used the bevel in order to create a circle along the path, right? Well, we can also do this the other way. So if we were to take the circle, we could use this curve in order to kind of lathe something along a, a circle. So what that means is that means we could select the circle, go over and select our object, and that's going to extrude this along this path. And so one thing to note about this is before we do this, we might want to think about taking our circle, going into object mode, and rotating it so that it's standing up, so 90 degrees, and then selecting our taper object like this. All right, and so when we selected this, notice you got this kind of weird result. That's because the direction the circle is facing is going to affect your result. So um, remember this is a circle with this bevel applied to it. We're just going to tab into edit mode select it and then we're going to rotate it 180 degrees like this. So we're going to type in negative 180 or 180 and hit the enter key. We've rotated this. Well now if we select our bevel object right here you can see how we can use this shape in order or this profile in order to create a lathe shape. And you could come in here and you could add detail as well. So if you were to tab into this object, for example, maybe rotate it a little bit, notice how your result is going to change based on how you adjust your curve. So because of that, you can use this to create some pretty complex shapes. You could also move this down and extrude additional edges in order to create additional shape. And notice how this is going to adjust live with your object inside of Blender. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this once you kind of get an idea of the way that it works. Note that you're probably going to end up playing around with some of this to, in order to get it to give you the result that you want. Um, the orientation stuff can be a little bit confusing, but you can use this in order to create these complex lathe shapes inside of Blender as well. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Was this helpful to you? Did you know you could do this inside of Blender? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new Blender content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.